hello everyone welcome back to another video um so this video i wanted to show all the snake owners or potential snake owners out there how to number one weigh your snake and number two how to measure your snake <laughs> so this can be quite difficult both of these tasks just because they're so squirmy especially as babies they're very very squirmy and it's really hard to get them to stay still long enough to either weigh them or measure their length um, a lot of new owners make the mistake of thinking that they can measure the snake's shed and that will give them the length of their snake, which is incorrect because when a snake sheds, it's pulling on that skin to get it off. And so the shed itself is usually longer than the actual snake. So if you measure the shed, it's going to be incorrect. It's not the proper way to do it. <laughs> So um, I'm going to show you this all in one video. Um, I'm just going to show you what you're going to need for this. So um, for weighing your snake, you're going to need two things, potentially. So you're going to need a box. Okay? This is just a normal box. Um, for this, it's better if the box is taller rather than wider. Okay. The second thing you're going to need is a scale. So this is just a kitchen fruit scale goes like that kitchen fruit scale i got on amazon it's nothing pretty it's nothing that you know you can't find just about anywhere um as when your snake is a baby you can definitely use this bowl okay you can just put your snake in here and weigh it just as it is once they get a little bit bigger however like my girl she's four and a half feet she's not going to fit in this bowl anymore <laughs> so I get rid of the bowl. <laughs> Not going to use the bowl. Okay. So this is where the box comes in. So what you're going to do is before you get your snake, you're going to set the box on the scale and you're going to cancel out the scale. So it's not weighing the box. Okay. And then you're going to put your snake inside and it's going to tell you the weight of just your snake. Okay. So that's the first thing that I'm going to do. Second thing is how to measure your snake. I'm going to show you how to do this and then we'll get into measuring the snake. So I'm gonna pull out uh, my big girl over here, Eve. Um, I'm gonna do them both in this video just because I can, um, but I'm gonna do Eve first and we're gonna weigh her and we're gonna see how this goes. So here we go. Okay, so as you can see, the box is on my scale. My scale is zeroed out at zero grams right there. Now we're going to put Miss Eve inside the box and she is 558 grams. Chunky monkey. Awesome. Okay, so now I'll record that so that I know what she is. So the next time I wear, I can see whether she's gained or lost weight. So 558 grams is what Eve is. Let's go get Ember. Okay, once again, we have the empty box. We have it zeroed out at zero grams. And now we're gonna put Ember in. Set her in the box. And she is 250.4. There we go. So that's the difference between them. Ember's 200 grams, Eve's 500 grams. They're both the same age. That's what blows my mind. They're both the same age. This is what happens when snakes are not taken care of properly. When they're young, they just don't grow. So she's never gonna be big. She's never gonna be hefty and, and 500 grams. This is pretty much her max. You know, she might gain a few grams in her lifetime, but not very much. All right, let's go over and measure her. So for measuring your snake, like I said, the shed does stretch, so you cannot measure the shed. You have to measure the actual snake. 
Now to get a snake to stay still to like stretch them out along a ruler or a tape measure or something like that, it's nearly impossible. <laughs> Snakes do not naturally stretch out in a solid line. They naturally curl or at least go wavy, right? So it's pretty much impossible to get them stretched completely out to measure them. There's a trick though. So I'm going to post a link in the description box below. There you can pick up what they call the snake measuring tool. So what you do with that is you take a box big enough to have your snake pretty much stretch out or at least like have a great big area to go in. Okay. So you don't want them like all huddled up cause it's not going to work that way. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your box and you're going to measure from side to side the width and from side to side the length. Okay, you don't need to worry about the depth, it's just the length and the width that you need to worry about. You're gonna take those measurements in inches and then you're going to put it into the snake measuring tool and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Um, you're gonna put your snake in here and then in the snake measure tool, um, you trace your snake. And once you've traced your snake, it puts that measurement against the measurement of the box that you put them in or the container. And then it tells you in inches how long your snake is. And then you can convert that to feet if you want to. But that's how you're gonna measure your snake. You don't need to fight with the snake. The snake is more comfortable this way because they're just laying in a box. I have a towel in here just because I don't want my snake to be rubbing against these these edges of the um, cardboard box. So I just put a towel in here. Um, it makes them comfortable and it makes it so that they're calm and that's the most important thing. You want this to be a positive thing for the snake, not something that you're trying to force them to do. So I'm going to go over now and I'm going to show you my screen on my computer and you can follow along as I measure even number. So here we go. Okay, so here's my box that I showed you earlier. And now all I'm going to do is put Eve in it. Try and get her off my hand here. Okay, she's got a hold of me. Let go, Eve. Give me one second here to try and get her off me. Piper, go away. My cat is very interested. Okay. No, don't escape the box. This is very hard to do with one hand. Sorry, guys. No, don't escape the box. In the box. Okay, there we go. So she's in the box. So now, what you're going to try and do is have all of her body visible. So just make sure that she's not in the blanket like that. You're gonna make sure that you have a full picture like this. So you want all the edges of the box in your picture and I'll show you why in a bit. Just get a good picture of your snake like that. Doesn't matter if you're moving around a bit and you'll be able to measure them. All right, we have our box. We're gonna put her in make sure she's unwound you can see all of her body get the edges of the box in the picture just like this and there we go okay so here's your snake measuring tool so the first thing we're going to do is open our image so we're going to do E first. Now, as you can see, I can see all the edges of my box on here. We're going to set the unit first. Now, once you hit that, you can either do width or you can do length. It doesn't matter. I'm going to do width. So you click on one edge of the box. You click directly across on the other edge, and it's going to ask you to set the unit length. In inches, you want to put what that width is. So you're going to measure your box beforehand. In this case, mine is 12 inches wide. So I'm going to put 12. I'm going to go OK. And that set that unit. OK, so now what you're going to do is you're going to measure right here, the top. So you're going to hit that measure. 
And what you're going to do is you're going to trace the spine or as close to the spine of your snake as possible. And you can click as many times as you need. You just click the nose, click down, and as you can see, that's just creating a line straight down my snake. I'm going to try and stick to her spine as close as I can. And you're going to go all the way down. This is why you want to make your snake as visible as possible in the box so that she, like they're not hiding or anything like that. So that you can see all of the tail, all of the head. Eve here is pretty easy to trace because she has a little indentation down her spine. So I can kind of just follow that as a guideline. All the way down. Right to the tip of her tail. Right there. Alright, so as you can see, over in the top corner, 39.8. That is how many inches long she is. 39.8 inches. Now you can take that and convert that into feet if you want to, or you can just stick with the inches. So let's go on to Ember. Okay, so doing Ember again, we're just going to open our image. We're going to get Ember up here. Again, I can see the edges of my box, just barely in this one actually, but I can still see it. So we're going to set our unit first. This is the same box, so again, it's just 12 inches for me. Alright, and now we're going to hit that measure button at the top. And we're going to start tracing again. Now, Ember is a little bit more difficult for me because there's no indentation on her spine. And she is a bit of a smaller snake. So the smaller your snake, the more interesting this can be. Um, but it can still be done. It, this can even be done with baby snakes. It's just a little bit more tricky and takes a little bit more on your part. <laughs> But going down her entire body, sticking as close to the spine as possible, which can be interesting because this is a straight line that it creates, but your snake isn't always in a straight line. Now you kind of have to be careful. See here where I'm doing right now, her body was rolled a bit, so her spine isn't directly on the top. I kind of know my snakes, and you will too, you'll get there. But just for the way this is looking in here, I'm going to say that her spine is rolled and it is over here on the side of her body. So I'm going to use that as my guide and come up the side of her body trying to stick to that spine. You can just cross right over your own lines. So it doesn't matter if her body is tangled up a bit. I'm going to keep coming right down to the tail. And there we go. So again, as you can see over in the top right hand corner, she is 32.5 inches long. So actually, she's not that much longer than Eve, which or shorter than Eve, which is actually kind of shocking to me. But Eve was 39.8 and Ember is 32.5. So there we go. Now, like I said, you can change that into feet if you want to, or you can just keep it in inches. But that's how you use this snake measure tool to measure your snake. 
I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it helped you. And if you are going to be getting a snake or if you already have one and we're kind of stumped on how to weigh and how to measure your snake, I hope this is a good video for you. <laughs> um, it took me a while to catch on to these little tricks on how to do this. Um, it was a lot easier actually when they were a baby because they fit in a smaller box and everything. But as they grow, you have to accommodate them. So I hope this helped. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment and I will answer anything that I can. But I tried to make it as straightforward as I could for you so that you could understand on how to do it and uh, get all the wonderful tips and tricks that there are out there. <laughs> so thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. And uh, you can follow me on my other social media accounts, all linked in the description below. Have a good night, and we'll see you next time.